person here asked about the Qibla. So can you explain a little more about the Qibla direction, please? That's a very broad question. Do you have more specific question? Okay, some say to pray northeast. So your question is about Qibla in North America, in United States and Canada. Uh, okay, but it's one rule all over the world, which is that if you are north of the Kaaba, then the consensus is that your Qibla is to the south. If you are east of the Kaaba, it's a consensus that your Qibla is to the west. If you are south of the Kaaba, your Qibla is to the north. If you are east of the Kaaba, of the Kaaba your Qibla is to the west. That's a consensus. The entire United States and Canada are north and west of the Kaaba. The people who are facing Northeast and North America are doing so without following any proper religious rules. However hard they might try to muster up something to make it look like they have some fiqh. Do you have another question? Can you explain why they pray the way they do here? I ask so I understand how to um, counter their belief. Yeah. Hmm. So um, they say that the distance is shorter. Yes. To uh, the Kaaba from as you pray northeast, and that on two days of the year, the sun is directly above the Kaaba. Mm -hmm. And on these days, you see the sun to the northeast okay. and not to the southeast. Okay. So they say, that's correct. They do say both of those. You, you reported that accurately. They say that the distance is shorter if you face northeast. Here's the problem. When you face something, the distance doesn't matter. If I say face the wall, the distance doesn't matter. Did you understand that? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So they actually inserted there something that's irrelevant completely. Now... Because the earth is round, hmm. they say that you can face... They say you can face from both directions. Hmm. Uh, well... There's two directions here that's in question. Northeast and southeast, right? And some people might even add east in there, due east. There is no disagreement about east. Really, the issue is between north and south. Or if you want to throw east in there, then the issue would also be north or not north. But the issue here is between north and south, northeast or southeast. So they said... And you said that accurately also. That's what they say. Although you just took me off of what I was just saying. I'll go back to it. I wasn't finished there. They say what you just said. But how could that be when north and south are two opposite directions and the Kaaba is only in one place? There are four major directions, right? North, east, south, and west. From these four directions, you can get four more directions by blending those. So you can get northeast, southeast, northwest, and southwest also, right? Uh, but there's no way to get north-south. There's no way. That's impossible because those are opposite directions. Just like there's no way to get east-west. So how could they merge north and south? How can they say you can face northeast or southeast? How can that be? And the Kaaba is only in one place. And also, they said, because the earth is round. But it doesn't matter what shape the earth is. That doesn't matter. Why? Because if I were on a mountaintop facing east, for example, or any direction, just let's just say east. If I were on a mountaintop facing east, and if I were in a cavern under the ground facing east, would I be facing a different direction?
No. No, I wouldn't be. What if I were in a submarine facing east? Or if I were uh, in a valley facing east? Or if I were... If I were in the west facing east, or if I were in the north facing east, or if I were in the south facing east, would I be facing a different direction in any of those circumstances? No, no I would not be. So that means the shape of the earth doesn't matter at all. Did you understand that? Okay. You said yes, you did understand that? Yeah. Okay. So so it doesn't matter when they say, because the earth is round, that part, you say, stop right there. It doesn't matter if the earth were a cube or if the earth were a pyramid or if the earth were a cylinder. It doesn't matter. Shapes don't determine directions. What they're basically saying to you is that your prayer is a line that runs over the surface of the earth. And since the earth is curved, then your prayer line is going to curve with the surface. That's what they're saying. What would happen if you were at the North Pole? Oh, 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 okay. Top, yeah. What would happen if you were on the North Pole? Go ahead. Say what? On top of the earth. Uh, you wouldn't be on top of the earth. You're just going to be on the earth like we are. Earth. Like right now, yeah. like how we're on standing. If you were on the North Pole, you'd be feeling like that too. Mm -hmm. You know, like Sorry. if you were. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. That's fine. When you ask like that, that's fine because those are important questions. These are the things that need to be clarified. One of the things that confuses those people is that they think the Earth is like the globe. You know how when you see your standard globe, they have it on an axis tilted? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, they think the earth is like that. And they think that if you go stand on the North Pole, that you're standing on top of the earth because they think the earth is like that globe that's on an axis tilted like that. You're confused. This is not even the case. If you were at the North Pole, you'd be just, it would be as if to you, you're just like anywhere else. Right. Yeah. So, so what's the question? Could you repeat your question for me. Wait. You pray south. Uh, you say if you were at the North Pole, then you're just going to use all the same rules. Meaning, where does the sun rise first? Where you are or at the Kaaba? That's going to tell well, you. The sun might not rise or set. It's going to right? rise, though. Mm -hmm. Even if it doesn't rise every day, where does it rise from, though? And where does it rise first? So if it rises at the Kaaba before it rises where you are at the North Pole, that means the Kaaba is east of you. If it rises where you are before it rises at the Kaaba, that means the Kaaba is west of you. And where is the North Star higher? Obviously, it's going to be higher there. So that means you're going to turn towards the south. So south is going to be part of your direction. And then north, east or west is going to depend on the sunrise. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. See, one of the confusions that those people have is that if you're at the North Pole, every direction from the North Pole is the same direction. That's how confused they are. They imagine themselves that they could be somewhere and every direction is the same direction. They think if you go to the North Pole, that what's in front of you is south and what's behind you is south. And what's to your right is south and what's to your left is south. Did you realize that? Did you know that? Uh, no. Yeah, that's what they think. They think if you are at the North, that's, no. that's why they would say you're on the top of the world. They think that if you are at the North Pole, every direction from you, every no, no matter which way you turn, it's always South. And if you are at the South Pole, then no matter which direction you turn, it's always North. They think North is in front of you and behind you if you're at the South Pole. Mm -hmm, go ahead. Could you explain why it appears like many Muslims in North America pray northeast? Yes. Why it seems like the majority almost? Yes, this is because of an overwhelming ignorance of the religious rules. 
and was the vast majority who used to face the correct direction, southeast, before they turned the northeast. They used to face southeast before the 70s when they changed it to northeast. That was the majority, southeast. Then they changed it to northeast and they, as they say, they gaslit the people and said, look, we're the majority facing northeast. It must be right. Well, what happened when you were the majority facing southeast? How was it not right? And some of those people would say, yeah, that's right. We knew we were wrong. We fixed it. So what's your point of saying you're the majority now in northeast if you could have been wrong when you were the majority facing southeast? Do you understand that? Yeah. Yes. Uh, and uh, and most of them they don't know. Also, they really don't know. They don't know how to read the map. Wa 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 rahmatullah. I feel like it gets tricky because with, because of the majority they do it like that, and then. Someone tries to explain to them, hey, um, you're praying the wrong way. They're going to tell you, oh, but you're part of the small amount of people that are telling us we're the majority. So that's where it kind of gets tricky to me, you know, because I've been. But what about the argument I just made? Before they faced Northeast, what were the majority doing? So I'll just have to explain it to them that way. But they're just going to say, that's what we were taught. How, how do I know that you're trustworthy? But, but so, so, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. See, so if you let somebody take you that way, you will never get anywhere. Look at what happened here. Follow me. Let me know if I'm right or wrong here. Some people are yeah. going to say, some people are going to say, we are a majority facing Northeast and you are a minority facing another way, right? That's what they yeah, said, right? right? Yes. And they said, Therefore, we're right and you're wrong, right? Yeah. So they used the fact that they were are a majority to prove that they're right, right? right? So weren't they then, if that's if being the majority makes them right here, then weren't they right the first time when they were the majority facing Southeast? Um, okay. okay. They're not going to have much to say at that point. No, they're not, but they're going to dance around that. They always do. As isn't if they didn't it, understand um, it. If I'm not mistaken, isn't that like the people that have it this way, isn't it the Wahhabis? The Wahhabis participate in that. I don't know why, though, since they claim to be so much against Bid'ah. Why would they not face Southeast and just resort to classical rules? Yeah, because the method that leads to facing Northeast, yeah. the method that leads to facing Northeast is not, it's not from the Sunnah. They claim that the whole reason why they're doing a new way to find the Qibla is because in their claim, the Prophet never came to this side of the earth. So the rules of the Qibla that the Prophet and his companions were using, those were fine where they were because they were close to the Kaaba. No matter how far they got, even if they got as far as China, for example, and as far as Morocco, they were still way closer to the Kaaba than we are on the other side of the world. That's what they say. They say, therefore, since we're on the other side of the world completely and the earth is not flat, then we need to use some other rules to factor in the shape of the earth. That's what the prophet and yeah, his I'm companions weren't doing. Logically, that doesn't even make sense when they say something like that because it's like, you're, so you're telling me. Hold on before you go there. Hold on a second. And now yeah. let me answer also because the sister asked me. First of all, I don't know if this is the same mic or a different one. Are you two speaking from the same mic or did you just cut a sister off? No, 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 different mic. Okay, wait, please, because she was talking. You still there, sister? Oh, me? Yes. You didn't cut me off. Uh, I'm here listening. Okay. So you asked me something, though, that I didn't get to answer yet. This They said twice out of the year, 
the sun is over the Kaaba, directly over the Kaaba. And when that happens, you would see the sun in northeast from North America, not from not in the southeast. So the answer to that is that this rule is zero. It is nothing, and it comes from nowhere. It came from their pocket. It comes from nowhere. If you ask, where did you get this from in the first place? Where did you get looking for the sun over the Kaaba? Where did you get that from? They have no source. I guess they say that the sun People didn't think of this as a as a logical proof at the time because they thought that the Earth was flat. Well, you would say to them, "Did what the Prophet come with is that sufficient or is not sufficient? If this is something that nobody used for Kipler proof, why are you using it for a Kipler proof? It's not a Kipler proof." Now, so I suppose one of them might say, ah, you're dodging, though. Because the point is we're seeing the sun in the Northeast. I would say to him, even before that, I would get to seeing the sun in the Northeast. I would say to him, in the first place, let me ask you a question. Do you use something as evidence when it's not evidence? Would you submit something as evidence when it's not evidence? If it's not a viable evidence? For example... You know how the mujtahids make ijtihad when they need to know a judgment and sometimes they differ? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, is it valid for them to use a Bible so they can make the ijtihad? No. It's not. Why? Because it's not proof. You can't just bring a Bible or bring anything you want. What, what about if they decided they want to bring a scientist magazine? Say, yeah, we're mujtahids in the, the religion of Islam. We're trying to figure out the religious judgment. Let me see that latest um, science magazine over there. They might have some proof in there for us. Is that valid? It's not valid. It's not valid because it's not evidence. So that's what those people are doing. Say, so, oh, well, yeah, well, look, when the sun is uh, directly over the Kaaba and there's no shadow on that, that's two days out of the year, then if we were in a certain area of Canada on the East Coast in particular, we will see for a few moments, we'll see the sun in the Northeast. So where? Oh, honey, who told you that's a proof? Where you even got that from? You want to practice? Or you can say it like this. But what if I just want to practice the way the prophet practiced? So if they say, well, he didn't come to the side of the world. So you say, so then he didn't deliver all of what he was supposed to deliver. So that should, that should stop him. But these people are very arrogant most of the time, most of the time from experience. I know that they will keep arguing. It's not a proof. This is what they're basically saying about that sun over the Kaaba thing. They're saying, first of all, they are claiming that it was used, in case you didn't know. So as in your presentation, there was something you said that, from my experience, they don't say, which is that, no, they are claiming that traditionally they used the sun over the Kaaba to find the Qibla. And that's what makes it valid for them to do so. That's what, in my experience, their argument's going to be. You say, no, this is known. The Muslims have done this for centuries. So you ask them, do you have a reference? They have no reference. Even though, here's the talking point. The talking point is, this has been done for centuries and centuries. It's so famous. Like, if you don't know it, you're the ignoramus. So, but if you look, everyone who says that, they never, ever, 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 ever give you a reference for that. Ever. Because there is none. And how would there be? Because this is basically what they're saying. If it were true, what they're saying, then this is what it would be. What it would be is that 
the Muslims at the Kaaba, they wouldn't be sure which way to face the Qibla. Although they can see the Kaaba. But then, on the day when the sun, out of two days out of the year, when it's directly over the Kaaba and there's no shadow, then they could look at the sun and they could know the, the, the right direction most accurately. And then they will fix all their mihrabs and all their prayer carpets and everything according to the sun, as if they're facing the sun. But the Kaaba's right there, though. But this is what they're saying. So when the sun is directly over the Kaaba, that's when all the people will be so happy. It's like a holiday. And then everybody will really quick fix all the mihrabs and everything. And then, as if, this is basically what, what they say, this is what I'm saying is what, what they say alludes to. And then after some time, they're going to fall into some disarray somehow. So then the next time, when the sun comes back again, they're going to do the same thing. And then after some time, they're going to go back into disarray until the next time. Then they're going to do that again. And the Muslims have been doing that for centuries and centuries and centuries. Now, someone might say, no, not at the Kaaba. At the Kaaba, they have the Kaaba. If you're not at the Kaaba. Then when the sun is directly over the Kaaba, you can look at the sun and know the direction of the Kaaba. That's what they're saying. So then you ask them a very simple question. How do you know the sun is over the Kaaba if you can't see the Kaaba? So what do you think they're going to say? So there's no other source of information that says the sun is over the Kaaba for those two days? I'm, I'm, I'm asking. What do you think somebody would say? If you said to him, okay, let's say the sun is over the Kaaba. Let's say it is. But if you can't see the Kaaba, how you know the sun is over the Kaaba? What do you think he'll say? What if you're talking to somebody who's right where the Kaaba is and can see it? Well, then why would he look at the sun to find the Kaaba if he has the Kaaba right there? No, I mean, what if you're communicating with somebody who is... Okay, but this is supposed to be something centuries, centuries, centuries ago. So how they, how would they know? How did they know that? They wouldn't. I they wouldn't be able to. But in the current day, they could, theoretically. Uh, but you still can't see the Kaaba. You can't see the Kaaba. You see? If you had someone on the other line telling you, okay, right now the sun is over the Kaaba, right now, live! And then you looked at the sun. You can't see the Kaaba, though. So how you know for sure? I trust them. Yeah, so that means you don't know, right? It means you don't know that don't. you don't know that when you face the sun, you're facing the Kaaba because you can't see the Kaaba for yourself. You can't see it. Right? Yeah. That's like if you were a blind person. If you were a blind person and someone said, it's like this, and then he turned you. Are you very 100% sure, sure you're facing the Kaaba? Can you believe someone? Wait, wait, wait. I want you to answer me voice? first, though, before you move there. Because I want you to tell me yes or no. If 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 a person were a blind one, if someone were blind, and then someone took his shoulders and said, it's like this. Is this blind person now 100% sure he's facing the Kaaba? No. No. So same thing. You got a phone right now. Let's assume there's no delay. When he's speaking to you. Instant. No delay. That's an assumption there. So you have no delay. He's at the Kaaba. He says, it's it's there. It's it. Go! Right now. There's no shadow at the Kaaba. The sun is directly over the Kaaba. If you turn and face the sun, let's say there's trees, there's buildings, but you don't see the Kaaba. This is miles away from you. And then you face the sun. You don't know that you're facing the Kaaba really. You understand? Yeah. And that's that's if you had somebody with a communication tool. But again, though, if this is really something that the Muslims had already been doing for centuries and centuries and centuries, then somebody who's in another city, somebody who's in Yemen, for example, he can see the sun.
when the sun is over the Kaaba and he's in Yemen or he's in Syria or he's in Turkey or he's somewhere else, he can't see the Kaaba itself. How does he even know the sun is over the Kaaba? He wouldn't because it's not something that they did. If he were at the Kaaba, he wouldn't need to use the sun to face the Kaaba. And if he were away from the Kaaba, he wouldn't be able to see the Kaaba to know the sun is over it. They went through all of this to face the wrong direction. That's how much that's how much they want to face the wrong direction. Go ahead. Say you're a new Muslim and you don't know. Say you're a new Muslim and you don't know like you did not know this this thing. And you were taught to pray southeast and then you met you met you went to a masjid or something and everyone was praying northeast. You have to make up those prayers. That you prayed southeast? That you prayed northeast? Yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Tayyib. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.